Today we'll be doing a live demo for the webinar with uh, making e-cards so we can use them to make the most of our online communications while sending invitations for special occasions. So before we get started with the demo, I just wanted to mention a few things. Um, firstly, these are much quicker than sending regular mail and since e-cards send and arrive instantaneously. And some of the sites are free or only ask for a small free for fee for the ones that we're going to be going over today. You can also easily reach out to loved ones during holidays, special occasions, or just to let you know that you're thinking of them. And for the sites that we're going to go over today, you have the option to customize fun cards with thousands of different themes to choose from. So now getting started with our live demo. The first site we'll be going over is Jackie Lawson eCards. So to get started, you're gonna wanna navigate to our website, www.jackielawson.com, as you can see here. And once you're on the homepage of the website, you'll notice, um, obviously the name of the website, Jackie Lawson. She's a trained illustrator who has been animating online cards for over 20 years. So it's obviously very reputable. And you can also register for a membership to get full access to all the e-cards on the website. And so you can send them to your loved ones. So to get started, um, once you've navigated the site a bit and you th it you think it's something that you may be interested in, you'll have to purchase a membership. And to do this, you'll click the prices and membership button at the top left of the screen. And as you can see, there is no option for a free membership for this site. So you'll have to purchase a membership that is uh, $20 for one year or two for two years, $30 as a recurring payment. And um, to fulfill this membership, you'll click the join us button in the middle of the screen and you can sign up with your email address and your country. And from here, you'll be prompted to enter your payment information on the next screen. Once you've done this, you should be logged in and have full access to the content. If not, log in to the home screen and click log on at the top right hand corner and uh, from here, you'll have the option to send your e-cards. Now, to with this membership, you'll have access to, again, unlimited e-cards, as well as additional features like an address book, a birthday reminder, a comprehensive helpline, and a lot more. You can also click through um, some different occasions, depending on what you would like. Um, you can find these on the left pane of your screen. So for example, if I would like a congratulations card, I can click here. And as you can see, you can uh, choose the card that suits you best uh, by looking at the images on the left side. To uh, preview an e-card to see what it will be like, you'll simply click the preview this card button. And from here, it'll show you a preview of what the e-card will look like. Simply click to start it. So as you can see, it's uh, very interactive and fun. I'm not sure if you can hear the audio, but there's also music with it. So once you've chosen a card that you like, uh, what, you'll, what you can do is actually, what you can do is, um, actually customize the card. Again, this is only available if you've purchased a membership. And you can, uh, if you did have a membership, you would have an option to click customize and send this card, but I don't have a membership, so you won't see that here. Um, but once you've um, gotten, gotten all the information you would like on your card, you can click send this card and you'll be prompted to send it via email or download it to your computer to send it in some other form. 
And if you're an existing member, you can choose your card and obviously log on through this portal. What's unique about this site is that you can also open cards that someone else has sent you. To do this, you'll choose the pick up card button at the top right of your screen. And you'll enter your e-card and your email address for verification. And uh, you can open the card from here. And these instructions will also be helpful to whoever you're sending the card to. And these instructions will be included in the email that's sent along with your card, which is convenient. So that's pretty much it for Jackie Lawson site, but there are also some supplementary features here. For example, a gift shop uh, to purchase um, physical items to be delivered to you. For example, advent calendars, as you can see, or you can even gift a membership to the site to someone who you think may find it uh, very good. And yeah, that's pretty much it for our Jackie Lawson eCard site. The next site we'll be going to is called JibJab. So you'll want to go to jibjab.com to get started, as you can see. And from here, you can see that this site is a bit less formal and meant for kids or a funner, uh, funny card. And you can send e-cards that have your and your family's face attached to them, which is kind of cool. You can uh, scroll down and select some different categories by choosing the um, top options on your screen. For example, if I would like Halloween e-cards. But before you get started with choosing your cards, I would recommend that you sign up for an account. Um, the membership to this one, you have an option to, um, you have an option for a free membership or a premium membership. With the free membership, you'll have the option to send out free cards, which will be um, limited for the amount of people you can send the card to and uh, the amount of faces you can include on the card. But with your premium membership, obviously everything is unlimited. So if I want a Halloween e-card, what I can do is choose any one that I would like. Um, and by hovering over them, you can um, see how many people you would like the card to be made for. So two people, five people, etc. You can also choose a card by choosing the search icon at the top right of your screen. And from here, you can type in uh, your desired a specific card, for example, if I wanted Thanksgiving, you can type that up here, hit enter, and it'll give me a variety of options for this. I can also um, access only free cards since some of the cards on here are um, meant for the premium membership or you'll have to pay for them individually. So if you're looking for free content, simply type in free to the search bar and it'll show you um, all the free options here. So I'll choose this uh, Christmas card to demonstrate. And from here uh, to customize the e-card with the faces of your family and friends, you'll click make e-card. Then as you can see, as an example, here are two stock images that I've uploaded to demonstrate what they look like. So from here, you can hit next. And obviously now it's gonna prompt me to sign in and create an, or create an account. And you can do this and you'll have the option to send your e-card out. And I'll enter all my information and click sign up with email. And as you can see, I'm now um, into the card and I'm able to share it by clicking the share button by either Facebook, email, or by link. And I can add a customized message to the card um, to and from. So here's okay. what the card will look it's like. Here. It's Christmas. So I gotta tell Santa my wish list. Up the escalator, no time for stairs. As you can see, this is a very unique site. Um, depending on what you want, it can be great for kids again. 
And that concludes our demo for the JibJab site. Now for our last site, we'll be looking at Greetings Island. So Greeting Island is another great site for free or um, paid cards, again, with limitations in that free version. So to get started, I'll advise you to log in. Otherwise, um, you won't be able to access all the content and share it. So you can do this by clicking the sign in button that can be found at the top right of your screen. Um, as you can see, I'm already logged in. And from here, you'll have the option to scroll down and choose browse by category to choose the card of your liking, or you can um, go up to the top of the screen and um, choose what kind of card you would like. And there's um, thousands of categories to choose from. Again, you can also use the search bar to choose a category. For example, if I would like a Halloween card, I can type that in and it'll give you all the options for Halloween cards or maybe a baby shower. So as you can see in this site, um, the cards are meant to mimic the feeling of a physical card. And what's different about this site is that you can also print the card in case you wanted to give it to someone physically. And uh, to customize your card with name and information, what you can do is hit the customize button. And again, this will only work once you're logged in. And from here, you can uh, double click on any of the properties on the card and edit names, informations, and even images if you um, go through the different pages of the card. This one only has one page, but some cards have uh, more than one. Once you've done, uh, editing your card, you'll click the next button at the top right corner. And you can now choose to download, print, or send online. Sorry, can everyone hear me? I think uh, my mic yeah. cut out there. Yes. OK, thank you. So you can now choose any option that you would like. For example, if you would like to send it by email, you'll click send online at the bottom and you can choose an event name, who the host is, the location name, if there is a location. Um, and you can skip some of this information if obviously in times like this, it's a virtual event. You can choose to include your phone number or a guest list. So in this uh, greeting island site, you obviously have a lot more options. So this would be a great option if you're looking to send a more detailed information with like a specific venue and um, specific things that's going on for the equa uh, equation, <laughs> not equation, the occasion. You can also go to additional settings and include a gift registry or wish list and uh, you can choose to be notified when a guest adds a com comment or replies to the RSVP. So I'll just fill out some of this to show you how it'll be sent out. And as you can see here, your e-card will be sent directly via email through the Greeting Island website. And here, if you just want to send it to one person, you'll enter their email address correctly. Or if you would like to send it to more than one person, for example, uh, you'll enter their email addresses separated by a comma. So as you can see here, my email addresses are entered so I can click add. Oh, forgot the .com there. And I can hit send to these two people. Now, as you can see, my invitation has been sent and you can always make changes to the e-card at any time you would like by clicking the manage invitation button. So that concludes our live demo.